Well, just call us Sports Town USA. With the Gonzaga men's number one ranking and a handful of major sporting events coming to town this spring, Spokane is quickly making a name for itself. KXY4 is calling O'Brien live downtown where the volleyball Pacific Northwest qualifier got underway today. It is a busy place downtown. It is definitely busy. There are teams of volleyball players walking all around the convention center, visiting the hotels and the restaurants, and that's what this is all about. 490 teams compete in this tournament. That means big bucks for Spokane. Playing volleyball all day long builds a healthy appetite. And lucky for these girls at the Pacific Northwest Qualifier, there's a healthy choice of Spokane restaurants right outside the convention center. Hi, how are you two doing today? Onion General Manager Jackie Roberg is smiling these days. Business spikes 50% when this volleyball event comes to town. We started booking uh, groups in October, and I've been booked up for this weekend and next weekend for about three weeks now. She's so busy, Roberg is spreading the wealth, suggesting other restaurants to hungry athletes. Oh, it's exciting, and it's so fun. I think they're happy to be here, and it's, we're happy to have them. The volleyball tournament brings in $5 million alone. Yearly, tourism rakes in $870 million to our city. That's according to Visit Spokane. It creates jobs, it helps our quality of life and our economy. So there's not a downside to this. Between the Gonzaga men's historic number one showing at the NCAA, the women's NCAA Sweet 16 coming to town, Bloomsday, Hoop Fest, a national boxing championship, Spokane is quickly becoming known as Sports Town USA. So we do see a, a future where tourism is bright and we'll be having more amenities and more services for visitors as, they, as those events continue to grow. And as these events continue to grow, the Spokane Sports Commission has a plan brewing for a new sports facility. They'd like to see a world championship come to Spokane. And at the pace we're going, that doesn't seem too far off. We have the largest timed road race in the world. We have the largest street basketball tournament in the world called Hoop Fest. When you start adding all that up, yeah, there's no reason we can't call ourselves a great sports town. And Visit Spokane has just been sharing fascinating information with me about what these major sporting events do for the city of Spokane. Nadine, I'm going to quiz you. I asked <laughs> on my Facebook page what sporting event in Spokane books the most hotel rooms. I gave the options Hoop Fest, yeah. this volleyball tournament behind me, or the National Boxing Championship, which is set to start soon. So which event books more hotel rooms? Oh, man. Well, Hoop Fest, a lot of people, but not everybody stays in rooms. I guess it's the number of people who would travel here. I'll say boxing. You'll say boxing. Well, the answer, actually, only two people could give me the right answer on my <laughs> Facebook page. It's actually this volleyball tournament, oh, believe it or say not. That. <laughs> well, then we'll give you that one, Nadine. 10,000 hotel rooms over the two weekend period that this uh, event goes on. Hoop Fest, they say, is a lot of local people, so they stay local. Uh, this event, actually, only about 14 local teams compete. The rest are from around the nation. So that's why it brings in uh, so many uh, hotel rooms and so much for the economy. Oh, that's great. Great business for Spokane. Thanks so much, Colleen.